Hello YouTube, it's PC Gaming X I here today. I'm going to be teaching you how to install plugins for your server. Two essential plugins you will need is one is called Essentials and the other one is called Permissions. If you don't have them then it's mainly just ops that can use stuff, but it's up to you if you want to use them, I will teach you how to use them today. So this um what you're gonna do is all your plugins are gonna be installed in the plugins folder. These two will be in the description. Uh, as I cannot access the site at the moment, so I'll just upload them to Mediafire, just download them and put them in. What you want to do then is save your world, is called, I don't know, Smithy or something like that. Go into Plugins, Permissions, and rename this to whatever, and then it should be .yml. You probably won't see that bit. I've just got something enabled. A program that you, I will recommend to you to edit this to make it look like this and organized is notepad plus plus um, it's freeware don't worry and link will be in the description so first off we'll download the no why did I want to YouTube the essentials that we need so there it is that's all you want you wanna go to this download link will be in the description and you're just gonna click download Save it to your desktop. Minimize that. Double click it and you'll see all these in here. Copy, drag, drop, done. And what you want to do is go back to your server file, server.bat, start it all up, and then just stop it. So now we have um oh I've put them in the wrong folder, no wonder it didn't work. Sorry guys about that. Um hey. Make sure they're in your plugins folder, make sure they're not in permissions, but yeah, plugins. So it up box, start it up. And then stop it. As soon as it gets going, just close it. Then you'll see this file called Essentials. Uh, if you want to go into the config, edit everything you want. You can either change the ops colour. Um but yeah, just edit what you want. Ratio, crap like that, one on smite, message of the day, stuff like that. Rules, override commands, disabled commands, stuff like that. Just edit that. Uh these are the ones I'd never used, but have a look see around them. Jail, I think I see you've jailed. Spawn, don't know what that is worth. Oh, that's because uh, Essentials has its own uh, economy system. It's not very good, but it's okay if you don't want to get an economy system. And there's where all your warps will be stored when you create some. Now, when you install that, uh, permissions, um, to use it you'll have to be op. This is where permissions comes in. So what you want to do is open up permissions, go to world, or whatever it's called, and you'll see like groups, two groups, admin, default. If you want to add more groups, your best option is copying one group like this all the way to the end, up to default, and then all the way back. Copying it, so copy or control C. Pressing enter once, go back all the way to the beginning, like that, and then just keep all the space till you get up to where it says default, paste it in. Right, I messed it up. If it goes forward like that, then all you want to do is bring it back so it's online with it. And then rename it to whatever. So we'll call it Builder. Like that. Default, you don't want it to be full, so false. Or if you do, true. Prefixes and suffixes. Uh, prefixes is what's in the name. So if you put with a space, it will come up in the game I am a builder space then their minecraft name so uh, suffix just leave alone you don't need that so I'm going to turn you how to add permission nodes now what we want to do is keep on this site here uh, where does it say permission nodes I think it will be under instructions go on instructions go to Uh, installation guide and then just look for permissions 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 if there is one oh 
Well, this doesn't help. Ah, right, there we go, there we go. Hmm. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go to permissions, go to installation guide, no, installation guide, command guide, and you see all these, these are all your commands that you can do. So what you want to do is just click the plus, and you see where it says permissions, essentials.bigtree, copy it, so which, just depending on which permissions you want, so if you want to give someone depth or info, then you just choose all the freedom of choice, basically. Go back to it. Now where it says permissions there, you'll see or is some default ones. Do is press enter, go back to the beginning, like that, press space bar till you get up to that. Uh line tool, which is just next to zero and the plus key. Space um the little icon thing which is next to hash. It's also the app key, just press that. Paste in what you copied, like that, and just press it again, and now that is permission, that is enabled. Uh, this one here, dash, st uh, that, star, that, gives access to all of these um, in essentials. Okay, so now I'm going to be teaching you how to install other plugins. So, what you want to do is go to this website. This website will have all the plugins you will ever need in your entire life because it is literally all the bucket plugins put into one alright so we're gonna choose economy just go to that so uh, download. Save it to your desktop. And then we've got to find out what permissions is. Permissions. Permissions. Hmm. I don't think this one has permissions. Oh, I'll find a different one. Uh, L yeah, LWC. Installation, see if this one has permissions on it first before we download it. There we go, yeah, it does. Right, so, what I'm going to do is download it, click that, download LWC or whatever for your permissions, and then just click on permissions, some. Uh, I'm trying to find one. I think it says it on the page. Nope. Does this one say on the page? Well, what you'll see is on some of them, you'll see this, but it'll say um, permission nodes. And you click that and it'll say all the permissions. That's where you get them from on some pages. Some pages have their own little page. So, what we're going to do is install the plugin that you just downloaded, not into that. That would not work. To that, uh, reload the server, like so. So it's downloaded. It's downloading something. It's downloaded. Open download. God damn it. What is it downloading? Jesus. Sack it, we'll stop it anyway. Right, so you just stop it there like that. Go into permissions again. Open it up. It will ask if you want to reload it, just go yes, whatever. So now what you want to do is where is it? Where is it? There it is. You'll see LWC dot protect. That gives that's for regular players as it says there, so we'll give that to the group default. Uh, instead of going like this and you know just putting all the codes in for each one, uh, here's a little tip. Um, inheritance, press enter, go back, go all the way forward, and then keep going forward to your online with info and inherit line, and then put the group you want to inherit. So we'll put default. So now this guy, the builder. 
gets all the permissions that the default group gets instead of you know like copying them all in and then so on and so on so if we put that to build a default then he gets a build what he gets and then he gets what he gets so essentially this guy gets all these then LWC mod admin and then we'll put on the admin done that wrong put my little things in there like that and then LWC 9 LWC mod um, that is essentially on how to install plugins basically it's pretty advanced but once you get used to it it's not really that advanced the next step is adding people to these groups so it's pretty simple just you'll see my name there what you want to do is just press enter all the way back to the beginning spacebar then the colon enter again spacebar all the way up to where it says group then copy it and then you can do it that way or you can just do it like this copy that one or zaps 2 k press enter go back all the way paste it in and so on and if you really want to save you doing like multiple people at a time just copy all them all the way back paste them all in as you can see it gives you a lot of different groups you may want to change all these you know builder admin and stuff like that and I'll show you the errors that you shouldn't be getting unless you've done it completely wrong. So first one would be if it's red like that, whatever, just call it that. If it's red like that, you've done it wrong because you've used tab instead of space. See what I mean? Go back, put it in, it goes fixes it. And that's pretty much the only error you will get. So make sure you go back twice and then go forward all the way up to if you go forward like that it won't work if you go behind it like that it won't work it must all be online it's pretty strict on what it wants you know like that put it all online so now I'll show you in game what it will look like so if we put that as admin is awesome right so I'll have admin is awesome true whatever save it Close it. Don't need that anymore. Go back to your server. Start it up. Don't worry, some other people join. See, someone's already joined. You shouldn't have joined. <laughs> Obviously, they're waiting for my server to actually go up. I took it down. Whoa, whoa, egg. And as you can see, I am called admin is awesome. Lightning. As you can see. Um, it works and everything like that. So now, if we disconnect, I will show you how to add color into your name. Oops, that was not supposed to happen. So now, if you want to add color into your permissions name, so admin is awesome. We'll have a color into that. So what you want to do is go to, oh, don't copy that. What you want to do is go to Google, and then type in. Um, Minecraft Classic Protocol. Ah, uh, yep. Click on it. Link will be in the description. Don't worry. All the links from this video will be in the description. Scroll down, and you'll see there. And zero, and one, and two, and three. So if we put and four, so if we copy it over to it, and we put it at the beginning. So admin is awesome. Is all red. And get a bit of blue in there, copy that. And we put that there. Admin is red, os is awesome is blue. Then we'll get a bit of gold in there. See? 
like that. And then if we put one more in after awesome or whatever your last word is, that will be the colour of my name. So if I show you that and A. Copy it. Paste it in like that. Save it. Close it. Minimize it. Back to your server. Wrong thing. Oops. Server.bat. Start it up. Join it like that. No. Not like that. What's going on here? No, that's not supposed to happen. Try it again. If you get any errors like that, then usually the best thing to do is just restart it. Eh. What's going on here? Being screen raped. There we go. Logged on. Multiplayer. Join the server. And as you can see, my name, admin, is awesome. You can't see the is because it's too dark, but you get the gist of what I've done here. Admin is awesome. You get access to all powers and stuff like that. So my favourite one is Antioch. So I hope the tutorial helped you. If you get any errors, just leave a comment or send me a message. I'll hopefully reply to you within um you within uh, about two to three hours of you leaving the comment or maybe almost instantly. Um if you can't really can't do it and like, you know, you really don't want to ask me for help, I will do it for you. All you've got to do is get a program called Team Viewer. It's absolutely free, so I'm sure you know. It's absolutely free, it's a remote desktoping program. Just download that. And then when you install it, it should look a little like this. Don't worry, I've helped over like 70 people so far. Download it and then add me on Skype and I'll talk to you while I do it. All you got to do is tell me your ID. Your password changes every time, so when you've watched this video, this password will no longer be that. As it just literally randomizes every time. So if I close it, open it, maybe six, nine, something. Just changed again, and then I need to change that down. Wow. I need to change again. So yeah, it's pretty safe. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like the tutorial. Rate, comment, and subscribe.